All right, everybody, welcome to today's Tech Talk Tuesday. In today's video, we are continuing hunting down the troublesome P0068 and P0123 codes on my SRT4. If you watched last week's video on the TPS rewire, that did not solve my problem. And so now we went ahead and moved on to replacing the TPS itself. I went ahead and ordered an authentic Mopar unit from Rock Auto. It was about $100. They do have cheaper ones on there uh, that are like $40, but my experience on the last four years of owning this SRT4 is if you don't use OEM Mopar uh, sensors, they're gonna wear out and you're gonna end up redoing the work twice, so might as well spend the extra money up front and get the authentic Mopar parts from the get-go. So we went ahead and swapped out the TPS on this guy and it solved the problem. I've been running it now and haven't had those codes come back and everything's been working great. Now for doing the installation itself, it's think you would think it's very easy to do being only two T25 Torx screws that hold the sensor in place, but getting access to that lower one on the throttle body is a bit of a challenge because of the fan shroud is in the way. So my socket that I have on a T25 worked great for the upper screw, but for the bottom one, I had to use a T25 bit and put a wrench on it in order to get enough clearance to be able to extract that lower screw. So it took an extra like 10 minutes to do the job than what I was expecting it to do, but overall it wasn't the end of the world and I was able to do it relatively quickly. So. The other advantage I noticed after swapping out that TPS is the car is idling better and seems to be running a little bit smoother. So it was an indication the car needed the TPS for a while, but it was so minimal to the type of effect of driving that I do on the car with mostly freeway driving that I just hadn't been uh, worried about diagnosing that idle issue. And turns out that was the problem all along and I should have just replaced the sensor a while ago. So I hope you found this information useful. I hope it helps you out on your projects. And if it did, smash that like button, give me that thumbs up. It helps me out tremendously with that YouTube algorithm. I'll put a link in the description below for the throttle position sensor from Mopar. So that way you don't have to hunt around for it. And uh, as always, you want to be kept up to date with my future uploads. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell as well. So that way YouTube will keep you up to date of all the videos I do in the future. And as always guys, I will see you the next video.